So it's been almost 10 hours since we've been here at IES performance and Tanai's Abad's downpipe has been one of the most complicated downpipes that we've ever made. Welcome to a brand new series on the Drivers Hub called Project Abarth and of course how the name suggests we're actually going to modify and customize uh, Abarth 1.4 Punto and that is actually Tanai's car who's behind the camera and today we're here back again at IES Performance to get the first most basic mod of a stage to build which is a stainless steel downpipe from IES Performance. So before we start and crack on with the process of installing the new stainless steel downpipe, let me just run you through some specs of this car. So this is a Punto Abar. It comes with a 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, which is called the T-Jet. Uh, as you can see, the engine bay is quite dirty right now, but the previous owner of this car, Yaar Tanai, bought this car used, uh, has already installed uh, a KNN intake over here, which is an open intake. So we might be planning on, you know, getting a proper housing done for it. We're not confirmed. We've not confirmed that yet. Uh, so the basic specs of the engine is that it makes 145 PS of power, 212 newton meters of torque, and it's mated to a five-speed manual gearbox. So the first step of the whole process was to remove the rubber engine cover, and it being an Italian car, it wasn't the easiest thing to do with the rubber cover being integrated with other hoses and lines for the engine which meant disconnecting those and then getting access to whatever is underneath. The Abad's downpipe has to be one of the most difficult downpipes to remove. Since there are so many curves and bends to the downpipe, removing it from underneath the car is not the easiest thing to do. Removing the bumper would be ideal for this, but that will be a two to three day process to remove and install the bumper again. So after some yanking, the downpipe was finally out of its housing. So this is the old downpipe from the Abad Punto and as you can see in terms of length, the downpipe is actually not that big because even the engine is not that big, it's a 1.4 at the end. But a cool little feature on the downpipe is that Lancia, Fiat and Alpha has been etched on the downpipe. Which means in I'm guessing Europe or some countries in Europe, cars like Lancia's and Alfa Romeo's also have used the same engine and the same setup of a downpipe. So cool little feature, it's etched over here and now making we're going to make the new stainless steel downpipe for the Abad Punto. Now the thing that you're seeing on your screen is called a jig. It is basically like a 3D measurement and model of the bends, dimensions and other geometrical factors while creating a downpipe. Back in December 2021, Tanai had come down to IS Performance to get a downpipe and a stage to tune. But unfortunately, due to time constraints, the whole plan of the Abarth getting tuned had to be dropped. But luckily, Amir and the guys over here at IS Performance were able to create a jig for the downpipe. And a jig can basically help you create your wanted outcome with much more ease, precision and time efficiency. So now when you're buying an Abarth Punto, probably the car that you're considering buying like an alternative for it will probably be the Polo GT TSI which has the 1.2 engine in it. And when it comes to the Polo GT TSI, we've already made a video on its downpipe. And if you notice in that video, the downpipe made for it is actually pretty straightforward. But whereas in the Abarth Punto, the downpipe is quite complicated. So now first of all, the main problem over here is that the flange that needed to be made for the Abarth Punto's downpipe is not a, like a regular shape. It's kind of looking like an ami amoeba in some sort of way. So that's a very difficult uh, piece to engineer properly and that will ensure that your downpipe will not have any uh, leaks or anything once it's installed. The other main problem for the downpipe is that there's this small little indent over here. So now this indent is actually space for the turbo manifold pipe to go basically at the side of the 
down pipe so that's a very difficult uh, piece to engineer properly and well it's not really that simple to make this small little indent on a pretty normal looking shape so yeah these two things are very important and very difficult to make so yeah that's one of the main problems while creating a down pipe for the abarth So it's been almost 10 hours since we've been here at IES Performance and Tanay's Abarth's downpipe has been one of the most complicated downpipes that we've ever made and well basically this is the original downpipe design that was made over here at IES Performance uh, it was made on something called as a jig a jig is basically like a reference point for tubes and making downpipes and stuff like that so initially they had made a jig for it which makes the process of making the downpipe much more easier and it cuts off like 2 3 days of works into a bunch of hours i would say but the thing is they found a better and more efficient way to make the downpipe so that jig is basically useless and the guys over here have made a completely new design and basically we don't have to do these indents which take a lot of time to do and that actually restricts quite a lot of performance as well so that's why this is the type of design that we've gone for as you can see this is a very straight design whereas this design has more curves and more uh, more of a angle to it so this will help us tackle the indent problem as well and make sure that the performance is there as well After multiple different variations, welds, and designs, IES Performance crafted the perfect downpipe for the Abarth. Video doesn't do justice on how these guys work. The amount of time, effort, and focus that is needed to create such a thing is literally insane. After six plus hours of continuous trial and error, and making sure the downpipe is to perfection, it was finally ready. So after what seems like an eternity, finally the downpipe is done. This is the old one as you can see it's huge super heavy because it still has the cat over here and yeah this is not going to be of any use if you want any sort of performance whereas this super light looks really nice and well it doesn't have a massive catalytic converter over here this is going to help us gain a lot of power because as you know turbo cars love downpipes and well a downpipe is one of the most basic mods you can do so now we're going to quickly install this it's almost 8 o'clock Uh, we've been here since 9 a.m., which is going to be now 12 hours till the time we leave. So we'll just quickly fit it and let's get cracking. so i'm asked me to do the outro because well it is my car and i've been driving it for the longest time now and i know like i can definitely see a difference in the way the power is delivered for starters the clutch it feels much lighter now my clutch was something that was a slightly on the heavier side and now i feel that the release point also on the clutch has now changed slightly so getting accustomed to that is slightly um how do i explain it it's a little difficult right now so i'm just revving the car a little more and the one thing that i've also noticed is that the car is revving so much more better it's more free it's so smooth and i know for a fact i used to have this certain lag that was there earlier and i know for a fact that that is not there anymore 
so thank you so much for watching this video we will be coming out with more episodes so stay tuned to watch and 